video, I'm going to show you a few key features that actually will help speed up your vectorization using Graphic Tracer Pro. An image like this, I could typically do in 15 to 20 minutes using something like Illustrator or Corel Draw. In Graphic Tracer Pro, I'm actually able to do this in a minute and a half. Now, obviously, it's going to take a little bit longer because I want to show you the different uh, features and elements. But basically, we're just going to start with when we load up an image, the separate colors tab is automatically selected for you. And basically, this is designed to go this section, this section, this section. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and choose automatic in our bitmap colors. It's going to pull out the main colors. In this case, there's only three. If I had different shades in that it was not able to find, we can click on that and it will add it to your bitmap colors. Uh, at this point, we can hit process, which will give you a preview of what you're about to do, or we can just go ahead and simply go to create vectors. And what we have here is we have these little starbursts, and I want to create the same starburst all the way around. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my Adjust Shapes tab. I'm going to click on this. Now, the red basically means that it's a curve. We want a green to make it a perfect line. So I'm going to click on this first node here, and I'm going to hold in my control key. Now, when I hold in my control key, what it's going to do is it's going to, uh, and I click on my next node, it's going to click, uh, it's going to select every node that's within the first and last node you clicked. In this case, there are none, but uh, I'll show you how that works in just a moment. So we're going to hit the L key, which converts this to a line, which makes this green, which was green means. And since I hit that L key, my last node is selected. So I'm going to hold in my control key, and I'm going to choose my next node that I want. And again, I, uh, this, it selected everything in the middle. I'm going to hit the L key again. Now what I want to do is with the last node already selected, I'm going to hold in the control key again. And this time I'm going to click on my first node. Now that selects all three. Now if I go over here, you can see when I hover over these, you can see this pink line. And what that's doing is showing you what's going to happen if I click. But what I want to do is I want to go to Mirror Symmetrical. When I click on that, you can see it's created a symmetrical image of these three nodes all the way around. So I'm going to go to Replace Objects, and I'm going to Copy Shape to Objects. So with this selected, anything I choose will actually convert to that image. So we're going to just click on all these additional starburst shapes. That's going to clean all those up. Now, while we're already in this window, I'm going to choose this Convert to Square. Down here, we've got some rectangles. If we zoom in, you can see they're very rough. But if I hover over it, that pink line shows that they're not going to be horizontal. And the reason why is there's uh, all these different nodes in here, and it's trying to uh, figure out uh, what the shape is supposed to be with only four points. But to override that, I'm going to hold in my control key, and that's just going to make it a horizontal rectangle. And I'm just going to click on these with my uh, control key uh, selected. And then if we look at also, um, we have this other line down here. Let's zoom in here. So this, uh, this circle we can see is kind of rough. We're going to do the same thing, convert to circle or ellipse. We're going to click on that, and that makes it actually a four-point uh, circle. And then we're going to choose text. And I'm going to select this Eagle Pro text. I'm going to choose identify font and replace. Now this is a straight line. You know, if you were on a curve or let's say, uh, let's just go circular arc, anything like that, you would try to change that here. But this is straight line. We're going to choose next. And we're going to just type in uppercase, lowercase letters, and we're going to correct anything that's um, not correct. And, and sometimes what will happen is uh, with the lower res files, sometimes it doesn't pick up the correct lettering. So what you see, it does all, it's found a match, but it's not in green. What we want is we want something that's in green, which is this one, which means it's installed in our system. If it is not installed in your system, you can make a purchase on the Internet by choosing suppliers and find it, or you just search for free fonts and uh, add it to your system. We're going to choose Replace. And then we have this middle element here. We see we've got little rough areas. So what we're going to do is go back to Adjust Shapes. I'm going to click on this, and you can see all these nodes here. What I want to do is I want to do an auto cleanup. 
Now, I'm going to exaggerate this. I'm going to go all the way, and you can see this pink line that's generated looks nothing like the first. So we're just going to find where it looks pretty close and matches up, and we're going to hit Apply. Now when we click on that, you can see it's actually cleaned up a lot of those nodes. It's removed, removed them. And then I'm going to do the outside line the same way. Can I can back it off to where it looks pretty good, not too far, not one way or the other. And we're going to hit apply. And I can see down here maybe I backed, I should have backed off a little bit. So I'm just undo one time, and then we're going to go back to instead of five, uh, six, I think is what I had. I'll just do five. Now the other thing is when we look at this and we zoom in, we can see that we have all these extra nodes. And you know some of these they might not um, be configured right. So what we can do is if we wanted to clean it up a little bit further, we can click on any of these nodes and just hit the delete key and you can see it automatically tries to create that curve for you. you now like over here we have a little bit of uh, a rough area so if we click on that we can hit delete and again it's smoothing that out. So again if you really wanted to clean some of these up you could go in here and do that. You know, and I held in the control key and it picked all those uh, nodes in the center as well. Um, and then one other area, if we really wanted to make this a point, we could actually select both of these and say convert into a corner. And you can see it also converts to a corner. So there's a lot of nice little features uh, in the product that um, will help speed up your vectorization. So the only thing we have to do at this point is save. And we do that just simply by choosing save here. And we can save it as a graphic tracer program file or we could export it to Illustrator or CorelDRAW. And those are some key features to speed up your vectorization in Graphic Tracer Pro.